Now, Storm Tracker weather with East Idaho's chief meteorologist, Doug Iverson. Tracking thunderstorms in the Central Mountains. I showed you that webcam of Stanley, and wow. Okay, some areas it's not perfect out there right now. That's certainly the case. You can see it on the map. Looks like just above Mackey, we got some showers and thunderstorms. A little activity try to pop up just to the southeast of Idle Falls. We could see a very isolated shower this evening in the Snake River Plain, but for most of us, we're dry. A couple little specks of rain, too, way to the south of Pocatello, not too far from Malad City. Drier air actually punching in uh, from the northeast and we got high pressure building to our north so it's taking a lot of this moisture with it pushing it the lid down a little bit so not quite as active and this trend will continue into tomorrow in fact a lot of us will be even warmer than we were today and we'll see even more sunshine and fewer clouds out there so highs in the snake river plain tomorrow will be in the 70s if you want warmer just go to billings 80 for a high there tomorrow lewiston will also top out at 80. it's not too bad but we actually see temperatures just as warm here as it would be over in boise boise in the mid 70s salt lake city in the mid 70s tomorrow could see some stormy weather along the mountains of the wasatch front but that's about it and we could see a little shower very isolated rain shower this evening in snake river plain most of us will stay dry low temperatures mainly in the 40s uh, tonight for the central mountains showed you where those showers and thunderstorms they'll start to thin out here in an hour or two and then we're looking at just isolated rain showers and thunderstorms during the evening hours low temperatures for the central mountains will range from the mid 30s to the mid 40s chalice you're at 46 for the upper highlands in western Wyoming. Same thing, isolated rain showers and thunderstorms. And that word implies most of us storm free, but there will be those little pockets wandering about. So just go prepared, have your umbrella at your side just in case. Island Park 39, Downey tonight will have a low of 39 degrees with the same thing. Mostly dry, but a couple little areas seeing those showers and thunderstorms. Tomorrow, I think we'll be entirely dry, at least over the southeast highlands. Partly sunny, a few of us in the 70s, lava. You're going to hit 71 tomorrow for the upper highlands in western Wyoming. There is a chance in the afternoon some showers and thunderstorms. That will also be case two for the central mountains, and that would be in the afternoon, but a lot of places enjoying highs in the 70s. And we're going to enjoy highs in the 70s in the Snake River Plain, even warmer, even sunnier, 76 in Pocatello, warmer in Idle Falls tomorrow with a high of 72. Southeast Idaho Chevy dealer seven-day forecast. As we look ahead, Friday comes the return of showers and thunderstorms, at least a chance. That'll take us into Sunday, but look how warm it's going to be next week. Highs in the 80s starting Monday. Now for Idle Falls, we got the chance of showers and thunderstorms returning on Friday. That'll take us through the weekend. A couple days next week will be in the lower 80s, so we start warming up around here just after the first weekend of June. Teton area, there's potential stormy weather for the next five days. That's past the weekend. Then things will start to settle down a little bit, especially into next Wednesday with a high of 72. For the Central Mountains, a chance of showers and thunderstorms through the weekend and a couple of warm days. Tuesday and Wednesday, highs in the lower to mid 80s.